In Boots, Episode Five, Boots for Puss. A talking cat, Carabas said. That's amazing. Puss waved a paw. Talking is easy, but how can you talk? Carabas asked. It doesn't matter, Puss said. I have a plan to help you. Carabas stared at the cat. Puss is a very unusual cat, he thought. Perhaps he really can help me. First, I need a bag and some boots, Puss said. But plain boots are no good. My boots must be fancy. Carabas looked at the coins on the table. I don't have much money, Carabas said. I can't buy nice boots. Puss smiled. My feet are small. The boots won't cost much. The next day, they went to the shoemaker. I need a pair of boots, Carabas said. The shoemaker looked at Carabas's feet. Then he told Carabas the price. Carabas gulped. Puss stepped forward. Sir, the boots are for me, he said. The shoemaker was shocked. A talking cat? Amazing! Puss shrugged. It's not a big deal. Puss held up a foot. Look, my feet are quite small. The shoemaker rubbed his chin. I can make you a pair for a few coins. Excellent, Puss said. But the boots must be fancy. The shoemaker smiled proudly. They'll be the fanciest boots in the kingdom. Puss in Boots, Episode Six. Puss has a plan. Had his new fancy boots. He gazed in a mirror. I look fabulous, he said. Those boots are nice, Carabas said. But why do you need them? Puss smiled. Master, I must look my best. That is how a cat gets respect. Puss picked up a bag. I will be back later," he said. "Where are you going?" Carabas asked. "I have a plan, remember?" Puss said. Puss went outside. Carabas scratched his head. "Puss is special," he thought. But he's also very strange. Outside, Puss got a carrot from the garden. He dropped it into the bag. Then he headed down the road. Puss came to a meadow and stopped. This spot is perfect," he said. He put the bag on the ground. Then he hid behind a bush and waited.
Soon, a rabbit came along. It sniffed the bag. Puss grinned. Yes, Mr. Rabbit, he thought. First, smell that carrot. Next, climb into the bag. The rabbit stuck its nose in the bag. It crawled in farther. Puss pounced! Yeah. Got you! Puss quickly tied up the bag. Master might like this rabbit for dinner, he said. But I have other plans. <laughs> Puss in Boots, Episode 7, The King. The king looked in a mirror. He turned to the side and gasped. <clears throat> Sal, come in here! The king cried. A servant hurried in. Yes, your majesty? There's a hair on my robe. The king said. I can't reach it. The servant picked off the hair. Thank you, the king said. I'm a king. I can't have a hair on my robe. The king glanced down. Sal, your shoe is unbuckled. Sal quickly buckled the shoe. Sorry, your majesty. The king walked into the throne room and sat. People were waiting to see him. A servant led in one person at a time. A woman came in first. Your Majesty, I need a job, she said. I can sew. Her hair fell in her face. The king gave the woman a job. He also gave her a hair tie. A man came in next. His pants looked too big. My neighbors are poor, the man said. They are old and need food. Take some grain for your neighbors, the king said. He turned to a servant. Get this man a belt, he shouted. The king frowned as the man left. Everyone looks so messy, he thought. The door opened again. A cat in fancy boots walked in. Puss in Boots, Episode 8, Gifts from the Duke. Puss bowed. Greetings, your majesty. The king gasped. <gasps> you talk! Servants began to whisper. Puss shrugged. It's no big deal. The king looked at Puss's boots. Excellent boots! He said. Very fancy. Thank you, Puss said. It's important to look neat. The king grinned. I feel the same way. He walked over to Puss. You're a fine fellow. How can I help you? I have a gift for you, Puss said. 
He pulled the rabbit from the bag. It's from my master, the Duke of Carabas. Wonderful, the king said. Tell the duke I said thank you. The next day, Puss went to the forest. He placed seeds in the bag. Puss climbed up a tree and waited. Two birds landed near the bag. They pecked at the seeds. Puss leaped from a branch. He pounced on the birds and caught them. <laughs> Puss returned to the castle with the birds. He bowed. A gift from the Duke of Carabas. Lovely! The king said. The king handed a gold coin to Puss. Please give this to the Duke. Thank you, Puss said. But the Duke has everything he needs. The king smiled warmly. Then he can buy something he doesn't need. You must take it! <laughs>